friends, welcome back to Bunny's Bites. I'm back with yet another tasty recipe for you to try. It's vegan, healthy and a food that can be eaten on any occasion, a breakfast, dinner or even as a snack. Though it doesn't look like a lot, these mutia are extremely filling but very easy to make. This popular Indian Gujarati snack has many variations. Steaming the mutia makes it healthy because it adds no fat or calorie. So let's get started. First, take a bottle gourd and cut off a third of it. We're going to then use this part to grate the bottle gourd since the stop makes it a lot easier to grip. Once grated, you should get roughly one cup of grated bottle gourd. To make the dough, you need one and a half cups of wheat flour. The grated bottle gourd, half cup fenugreek leaves, half cup chopped coriander, one tablespoon ginger and green chili paste, but you can adjust this to your spice tolerance, one teaspoon salt, and mix together. The bottle guard's naturally high water content means that there should be no need for you to add any additional water to the dough. Mixing it with your hands helps to squeeze the water from the bottle guard. I forgot to add earlier, but add a pinch of bicarbonate soda. These measurements make enough mutia for three people. Everything green in this video has been grown in my garden. To shape the dough, add a bit of oil on your hands so that the dough doesn't stick and start rolling into a long cylindrical shape. Why a cylinder? Because the thin shape makes it easier to steam. Here are a few I made earlier. Ideally, we should aim to make the mutia as thin as possible. Put them into a bowl like this one, one that's lined with grease-proof paper. Leave them to steam for six to seven minutes or so. Once steamed, cut the rolls into round pieces. We don't want the pieces to be too chunky, but at the same time, we don't want them to be too thin. Once they've been boiled, your mutia shouldn't stick to the knife. It's completely fine if they slightly stick to the knife but if it's too difficult to cut, then that means you should steam them for longer. You could just eat them like this, or jazz up your recipe even more. A popular option is to just deep fry them, but what I'm about to show you is much healthier. In a pan, heat one teaspoon of oil, and into it, add one teaspoon of mustard seeds, one teaspoon cumin, five to six curry leaves for flavor, and two teaspoon poppy seeds. Once the curry leaves have become crispy, add your mutia and fry until slightly brown. For even more additional flavor, you could add a quarter teaspoon of chaat masala to make it more snacky. Fun fact, the name mutia is derived from the gripping action of the hand used whilst making them. That's it. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Bunny's Bites and write any feedback in the comments below. Also remember to check out my Instagram at Bunny's Bites blog for more updates about my channel. See you soon guys!